Well, you don't miss a beat. Oh, well, you know, you just like riding a bike. Julie, I really want to thank you. For what? Making me do this. I wasn't sure that I was ready. But having your support, I just wish my dad could see us. He'd be so proud. Ready. Kirsten. I've raised over $300,000 in pledges. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I think Julie's doing even better. I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if we hit a million. Oh, where is she? I haven't seen her in a while. I don't know. Excuse me? Uh, excuse me, may I have your attention over here, please? I'm Julie Cooper Nickel. It's so great to see all your faces, and I just want to thank you so much for coming here. With your assistance, we are going to be able to help a great many women in need. Thank you. Um, however, as you write your checks, I would ask that you make them out to the National Foundation for Substance Abuse. As it so happens, your generosity has somewhat overwhelmed our small organization, and with the National Foundation's network, your money will go a lot further and still be tax deductible. <laughs> so thank you very much. I'll go talk to her. Okay. Julie. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, could you not hear me? I always hold the mic too far away. I wasn't kidding about the police, Julie. Now you get back over there and you tell everyone it was a mistake. Call them. What? Call the police. I thought so. Oh, what, you think you're back in society now so you don't need the money? Wake up, Julie. These people are never going to accept you. You don't have any friends here. Wrong. I have Kirsten, and I won't do this to her. Now, I think it's time you left, don't you? This town's only really big enough for one manipulative bitch. Take care, sweetie.